Well, this is pretty cool. Samsung have just launched the world's first quantum smartphone. The Galaxy A Quantum, actually a Galaxy A71 5G with a never seen before quantum chip inside. Actually a QRNG chip or a quantum random number generator to be exact. This is said to generate completely unpredictable and random numbers, allowing smartphone users to use certain services very safely, mostly for payments. The Galaxy A Quantum will actually be available for pre-order tomorrow, going on sale a little after that. Well, in Korea anyway, and it is actually just an A71 5G from Samsung with this new Quantum chip inside. The QRNG was actually developed by SK Telecom, who are in partnership with Samsung to launch this phone. And it generates random numbers through a quantum crypto technology. It can basically create secure keys that absolutely cannot be predicted and so can enhance the security mostly of encrypted payment services. The Galaxy A Quantum has a 6.7 inch display with a center mounted hole punch cutout, quad cameras on the back and a 32 megapixel camera at the front. It runs Android 10 out of the box with 8 gigabytes of RAM and uses Samsung's Exynos 980 chipset. So really a very non-remarkable, even though very good smartphone. Nothing too different about the phone apart from this weird chip that they have inside. So the quantum generator developed by South Korea Telecom uses a CMOS image sensor to capture light emitted by an LED, which is completely random, whereby the LED emits light in a completely random way and then the CMOS image sensor can photograph that and then use it. This is at the moment mainly used for logging into certain applications and of course payment applications, most of which are also based in Korea at the moment. For example, the chipset itself can work with blockchain mobile certifications and issue and submit certifications for secure payments. The phone is said to cost around 650,000 Korean won, which is about 530 US dollars. So it doesn't seem like the addition of this chip actually adds too much cost to the device overall. Mobile payments are ever more popular and obviously should be encrypted. And this is just another way to make them super secure. And this could be normally put into every single smartphone that we buy. Also in the news, it looks like the Huawei ban, the ban from Huawei doing business with American companies and more specifically the ban with Google that's affecting their smartphone sales terribly is being extended for yet another year. So this time last year was really the time when we found out that Huawei couldn't use Google services anymore and so it couldn't have Google services on its smartphones. And it is obvious now that we see more and more sales data that consumers are turning away from Huawei and not sticking with them, not going through to the Huawei mobile services, but just choosing other competitors that have Google. They do, however, have HMS, which is Huawei mobile services that is coming through and adding more and more services and big name apps all the time. But at the moment, obviously, undoubtedly, their sales will suffer somewhat because of this and it will continue for another year at least. And at the moment anyway, it looks like the biggest winners out of all of this are Xiaomi and also to a lesser extent, the BBK brands like Oppo, OnePlus, Vivo and Realme. Anyway, that is your tech news for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.